Hey everyone, Dr. Kevin here from AbundantU.com and today we have another insane 25 minute HIIT workout done on the bike. Now if you haven't already, make sure you click on the link below of this video to download my new free ebook. It's going to be giving you this, my 7 favorite secrets to make your HIIT workouts more effective for weight loss. Now let's get into it. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna actually size our bike, make sure it's, it's set correctly for our height and weight. And then we're gonna jump on and we're gonna start with a five minute warm up. All right, lock in your feet into the pedals. If you have cycling shoes, that's even better, but we're just gonna do a light five minute warm up here. So the sitting position that we're gonna be in, we're just gonna be in position one throughout this entire workout. And position one is when you're gonna be sitting down, your butt's on the back part of the saddle. You're hinging at your hips about a 45 degree angle. So you're engaging your core, your chest is still erect and up, and your, and your arms are out like this. Now I like to hold on to the curved portion of the arm rails just like so, with my thumbs pointing forward, but make sure you're really easy on your elbows. There should be a light bend here. Okay. Uh, we're just doing 10 rounds today. So 10 rounds of 30 seconds of high intensity, spaced by 90 seconds of low intensity. That's really our recovery time. So what this is going to look like is we're going to find out which gear is best for us um, when we're actually going as hard as we possibly can. So the goal, if you're new to HIIT workouts or new to cycling or biking, you want to get closer to that 9 or 10 max effort. So giving it your all. And we're only doing it for a short burst. We're talking 30 seconds here. So really you want to make sure you drive as much energy as possible for those 30 seconds and then we're going to take 90 seconds to recover, so we're gonna lower the gear down and we're gonna to try to catch our breath as fully as we can so we can explode with just as much energy into the next round. And we're gonna do that 10 times. Sounds easy, but it's not. All right, so we're just going light here. Like I said. Now it's really important as you're going light here during your recovery period, that you're not in too high of a gear. But it's also just as important as you're sprinting that you get in the right gear. So you don't want to be spinning your wheels, you want to make sure that you have adequate resistance for your effort. We're just warming our legs up. If you need a longer warm up, you can. And if you can't give it your 10 out of 10 max effort, maybe start around like a five or six. And over the weeks to months, you should be able to increase your intensity level. Now at any point, you need to let your legs recover. You want to stand up for a moment. That's okay. I think you'll sit back down. But during the sprints, we're gonna be bursting we're going to be bracing our core and we're going to be pushing as much effort into our legs as possible. So we're going to keep our feet flat, we're going to push down and pull up, push down and pull up. It's all controlled movements. Two minutes till blast off. And I'll notify you 30 seconds beforehand, 10 seconds and 3 seconds. Now if you need to raise your handlebars a little bit higher to take some stress off your back, you can. We're just going light here, letting the blood circulate through our body. In our breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. If you got some water, that's good too. We're gonna be sweating.
30 seconds. Just remember the goal here is to put as much stress on your body as you possibly can in the shortest amount of time. That's what a true HIIT workout looks like. 10 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go, crank the gear. Lower the resistance down, one round down, nine to go. So catch your breath here. This is recovery. Keep your wheel spinning, but go slow here. So lower the gear back down. Once again, if you have some questions about the gear, like what level you should be in, depends on the bike you're on. It can give you some more insight or what your heart rate's gonna be. We're basically gonna be in that 80 to 100% max heart rate zone anytime you do a HIIT workout. Remember here, easy on the shoulders, easy on the arms, easy on the arm rails. Keep your core tight. Put everything you got in your legs. 30 seconds, we're getting back into it. Ten seconds. Remember, raise your gear up as you burst. Three, two, one, go! Good job, two down, eight to go. Now it's gonna feel like you're not gonna be able to catch your breath as these rounds start to go on more, but you will. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go.
Good job. Lower the resistance back down. Woo. Should be feeling that. Three down, seven to go. Remember, we're just catching our breath here. That way we can drive enough energy to burst at it again. If you're doing these correctly, you shouldn't be able to really talk. You need every second to recover. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Laser focused here. Three, two, one, go. Four down. Lower that resistance. Bring that gear back down. You can stretch out your legs a little bit. Stand up for a moment. Make sure you keep that hinge position anytime you stand up. Butt should be over the seat, not in front of it. We're just, we're just getting started, right? Thirty seconds. You got this. Ten seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. job five down we are getting there come on halfway don't quit now don't throw in the towel you got you got this five more rounds catch your breath here let your heart rate come back down Remember that sweat is your fat cells crying here.
30 seconds. Ten seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. Yes, resistance back down. Six down, four to go. You're going down the hill now, don't quit. I know, it feels like you're not gonna catch your breath, but you will. Remember, keep those shoulders back and down, chest is up, spine is neutral, core is braced. We're pushing down, pulling up with our legs. We're keeping our feet level. All the benefits of the HIIT workout comes during the HIIT, not the recovery time. So take your time, recover as long as you need to. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, you got this. Three, two, one, go. Resistance down, good job. Seven down, you got three to go. Three reps. You got three reps in you. Just remember, as you do this workout more, you're gonna figure out what gear you need to be in. If your gear's too high and you can't even turn the fly, that's not productive. And if it's too light and your feet are just spinning, that's also not productive. You gotta be like Goldilocks, you gotta find just right that sweet spot for you. And high intensity, max effort for you will look a lot different than someone else's usually. Especially athletes. So, start at your own level. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one. Go!
back down. Come on, you got eight down, two to go. You're in it. Two rounds. You can do anything for two rounds, right? I know you're sweating bullets. It's because you're putting your max effort out there. Make sure you grab a towel next time. Now you know why. Thirty seconds. Make sure to keep that core tight as we burst, and even as we recover. Hinging in our hips. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Good job, good job. Nine rounds down, one to go. Check those legs out. Stand up for a second if you need to. We got one more round in us. This is Dr. Kevin's favorite rep, the transcending rep. Because we're gonna transcend into an abundant you. We got this. Don't leave anything in the tank. Thirty seconds. Push it to the max here. Max effort, max results. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go! You did it. Throw the resistance back down. Keep those legs moving. Three minute cool down, do it. Let your heart rate drop back down. Awesome job. Get your breath. You're gonna be feeling that in your legs. Let's go light here. Get your breath, let your heart come back down. So common questions I'm gonna get, how many calories did I just burn? Depends on uh, your age, your effort, and your settings. But most people burn around 200 to 400 calories. And remember, the magic's not in the calories burned, it's the afterburn effect 
of HIIT workouts that are so powerful. Revving up your metabolism. I go over all the key benefits in that ebook I was telling you about. Now how often should you do HIIT workouts? I recommend two to three times a week maximum. Spaced by 24 to 36 hours of rest. And to be sensible about it, right? We just did a killer HIIT workout on the, on the bike. We felt in our core as well as in our legs. Our legs might be very shot and tight. You wouldn't want to go do heavy lifting on your legs now. Or even probably the next day, give it at least 24 hours of rest. But other forms of physical activity are fine, low, medium, light, resistance, aerobics, yoga, Pilates. So you gotta have balance, you gotta have HIIT workouts in your fitness routine, as well as others. And if you're a little bit older, one of the best therapies for your back, your joints, and your spine is brisk walking. So I think we can all can do that, just walking more. I have my patients target anywhere from six to 10,000 steps daily minimum. These workouts are killer and they're great. Make sure to share them with your friends and your family members. We could all benefit from some hit in our life. 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. All right, great job today, guys. You just did a killer, insane 25 minute HIIT workout on the bike. There was no mercy out there. It should have been max effort. Please comment below. I wanna know what you think about this workout or what kind of workouts you'd like to see in the future. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell because each week I'm gonna be bringing out more and more content for you. And like I mentioned already, if you haven't already downloaded that free ebook in the description below and follow me on Instagram at AskDrKevin. I'll see you in the next hit.